Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Okay. Hello. Um, actually, give me just one second to set up here a little bit more. I forgot to do something. Uh, go over there. That's good. Unplug this. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, first off, Miles. Hi, Dr. Nick. I'm sorry. Thanks for the sub, Miles. Uh, very much appreciate it. Uh, that said, it's time for the intro. So, Last Thursday, I laughed, thinking independent, legitimately transient information left to inform lowly, turgid intelligences living through inferiority looked too impressive. Lately, though, I've longed, tried, investigated lengthy thought inceptions, lovingly, tepidly improving lifetime insurance. Uh... <laughs> Welcome to the cast. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, we got Paul is back this week. Uh, Paul, you, you seem to almost live here, so thank you. I have to catch up with Jake. Uh, I'm just trying to hunt down Jake, and uh, I'm also trying uh, to hunt down Jake. Because <laughs> uh, because uh, or, or get back at him because he just stays at the pub all the time. Yeah, now, can you so. can you send him back here because we could use him. I, I can try. I can try, but you know. Uh, Brian, welcome back. Hi. You've you Good you're becoming be a new regular here on the relay station, which is appreciated. Thank you for being on. My pleasure. And uh, Canadian syrup. It's uh it's been a while, man. I know. How you doing? Life, life has a way of getting in the way of your. Life hobbies. finds a way. It's true. I will say that. I'm just gonna. I'm good. Just been busy with uh, work, starting some school, and uh, when I can, playing video games. So oh no. a bit of paint I just fell in my beard. I don't game as much as I used to, but I still get time in. When what I are can. you playing nowadays? When you can. Deep Rock Galactic. Ah, yes. Ooh, so good. Love it. I really, really like that game. It's kind of like, there's not a ton of content right now, but if you can play with friends, I feel like it never gets old. It's just always a blast. Every I, time. Uh, I definitely like it. I definitely want there to be more to it, but it's good. It's very good. Yeah. The foundation is yeah. solid. I feel like if you get in now, you'll be, you'll feel better later. Though I think, I think it's one of those also things that if you, if you played it, if it was free to play or if it was less expensive, it would be much more valuable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my, only big, my biggest issue with that one. It's, it's on sale for 25% off now. Yeah, that's good. It's better better price now than yeah. it, it was. When it was I, I grab it when it's on sale a little bit, but it is definitely worth picking up. It's, it's really interesting and unique. And it's, uh, I'm really, really happy about this seeming return to like four player left for dead co-op style co-op yeah there seems to be a lot more in the works vermintide this, 2 this year coming out i still can't vermintide 2 is amazing deep rock galactic is amazing there's i think there's like three other uh like independently developed ones that are that are being worked anyway love it so, uh yeah. gosh what is that one there's one about the alien yes invasion i'm trying to remember that one's up. name oh i'm trying to remember that one too because they just recently kind of rebooted the whole thing oh did they so uh there's yeah, there's like, gtfo like I, that's by is that's by the killing floor devs earthfall I'm sure earthfall yeah, that's yeah, what it is earthfall oh it's i'm i'm really excited by all of the oh the new stuff anyway let's uh right sorry star citizen that's what we're here to talk about oh right that's yeah that, that game, game. Oh, um I, for, I, for, I forgot that's the whole point do we right. have to talk about star citizen we could talk about Citizen Star. <laughs> Citizen Star. Uh, can, we, can we talk about Space Citizen? I heard that's Space a good game. Citizen. Ooh. What's that? Yeah. It's the name that they um, that on the uh, lawsuit or on the uh, the contract they gave Star Citizen. They called it Space Citizen. Oh. I mean, in the contract with uh, with, with uh, 
Crytek. Would you have been nearly as interested in the game if its name had been Space Citizen? Well, the, you know what its original name was, right? What? Space Trucking Simulator? Yeah. That, uh, it just, to me, it seems like it's, it's <laughs> someone in authority saying, Space Citizen! Space! Yeah. Go away! We need space! Anyway. It just, it just sounds like one of those mobile game adverts you see on the side of <laughs> yes. the webpage. It's, that's true. Um, okay, let's... Uh, the hurricane was last week, right? Yeah. We've already talked a bit about the yeah. hurricane. But um, let's, uh, let's just switch over to show and tell and take a look at some of the stuff that was shown off in Around the Verse. This, oh, geez. CS, I, I've hidden you. Give me one second well, here. That's Sorry. Terrifying. That's terrifying. I guess I guess I'm just I'm just, just gonna slink Damn it, down no, here. Just, no, come back, come back. Just just, just, just pop out of the frame because that's I'm sorry. That's all I'm worth. <laughs> You're back. I, I will say th th this uh the work in progress like uh you're showing right now, the man has an impressive chin. I wonder about that. That armor has a hell like, of a chin. He's got like a little chin going seems on. Seems a little that bit. Some like a that's, that's, chin. A, that's, a, that's, a, that's a Robbie Rotten like loving chin right there. Get the I'm getting uh, Guardians of the Galaxy vibe here. Star Lord. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else. Never, never heard oh, of yeah, him. I mean, I've never heard of him. Mm -mm. Um, so they showed off two like work in progress for the mining stuff, right? It's Mining Nemo. It is Mining Nemo. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> uh, Nemo, no! <laughs> Can I just say, though, when I was doing the transcript, it sounded like they were saying that the second one, the one without much poof, is the successful mm -hmm. one. And to me, the, yeah. the, the other yeah. one looks more successful. The one where the rock goes kaboom looks more successful to me. I don't know if, if that's just me, but... I think... I think it depends on what you're going for, though, right? Like, the second one, it is a lot more subtle, but I feel like it's A, less taxing on the system, and B, if you're just mining something, for it to just explode <laughs> kind of seems a little much. You know, it's like like those Michael Bay movies where someone fucking tips a chair over and it just explodes. You know, it's just... Mm -hmm. Explosion, a little, little yeah. too much. Yeah. So, whereas the second one, you know, it still gives you a good audible cue, or a clue, whatever, that you've been successful, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, as in pretty much every ATV, there's more showing off how damn pretty the game is with the Xeon explosions. Um, I don't, I, I think it's re really cool. They're actually making a very unique effect for the explosion of the Xeon ships. Well, just any of the ships. Uh, it is too bad the the go ahead. I was gonna say it's too bad the the scout doesn't fly that well. <laughs> I mean it flies well, but it doesn't really hit above its weight class. Or punches above <laughs> everything. <laughs> Fucking everything. So the Aurora punches above its. What weight is class. its weight class? Starter. <laughs> Wait, that's the weight now. <laughs> yes, your weight yes. is starter. Excellent. Okay, starter. Weight. Starter weight. I like it. Uh, when, when you, you gotta then then when you you get you go starter, then um, uh, waif, then murican, uh, and then freeder, <laughs> then sumo. That's that's the weight class now. It's it's starter, waif, um, murican, dam, and sumo. I like it. Okay, uh, it's perfect. What do you guys think about the procedural work they're showing on the uh, the truck stops and such? Um, not really much to say other than cool. It's nice Yay. to actually see it. You know, <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's pretty neat to see the the how they can piece things together. I I, I just want to play it. <laughs> I feel yeah. I I feel like there is a lot out of this week. Actually, excuse me. This is one of those weeks that it's a lot of like yeah, it looks cool, but there's not much to to go on here really. Yeah. It's it's one of those where it's a visual thing, not so much one thing where you're going like, oh, this frame here shows yeah. this or that. It's just kind of like, hey, this is cool progress, you know? 
I will say Wait. this week was good with, with one specific Which is that? Which is forest. Which is this right oh. here. Which is, yes, this is what I mm -hmm. want to talk about. So, uh... I thought you talked about the other thing, Paul. I'm disappointed. I've I've heard through my contacts of just people uh, that some people are angry about this work in progress, large scale forest rendering. Um, have you heard any of that, Paul? No, no, I've never heard anything no, about okay. that. Okay, it's not like not like it's not like everyone was 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 being really stupid and and like judgmental, being like. This looks like a low poly count. Oh, what the, the, it's, it's, we shouldn't even get excited because these ships, these trees are going to be indestructible. So it's going to be ruining my immersion. Oh, uh, these, this, this is better. This is such a shitty thing. I hate, there's no variety in here. Man, if they fuck this up, this is, this is, I mean, I, I want fucking force to be goddamn perfect. I want to have procedurally generated fucking leads. You know, like the smithy. The amount of snob that goes into this community. Like, you wonder why CIG doesn't go out and talk, talk about everything. Like, we, we can handle it. And then they show something like this, and the first comments are, it looks ugly. It's like, yeah. fucking work in progress! <laughs> I, what do you think? I mean, I think that this looks really, really good for a long time. As you're zooming in, it looks fantastic, looks fantastic, looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. And you get super close, now, it's obviously. Now the trees are starting tree. to look all the same. And okay, yeah. now they don't look like they've got great textures. But 90% of the way in, they look fantastic. And you can see trees on the far mountains. Which if you remember from back at CitizenCon last year, the tree pop-in was terrible. Well, and that's, you, that's what you can still makes see a little here, break. but yeah, but you were going like very fast too. Mm. So it's true. Ah, but the, but yeah, LODs play a huge part when it comes to forests and games. Like very few games seem to be able to. Well, because the problem is, just you have to have you have to make so many transitions. Where I don't know what they're necessarily <laughs> using here, but it's definitely working pretty well so I, I don't know i'm people get so mad and i don't know why and it makes me sad guys stop getting so mad please some people get mad and i talked to stormy about this the other night and it's that some people who have invested money into the game have invested more than what they're capable of doing and i feel like they feel they're entitled to be more vocal because their actual money is on the line that they couldn't afford to lose. And, you know, you can spend $60 on this game. That's it. You could spend 53000 whatever, you know. But you should only invest however much you feel comfortable doing so. And if you put this into it, you should expect that at any point in time, you're not going to get anything. I I welcome to early access games. I don't know about you guys, but I do not recommend that anyone buy anything more than a starter package. Period. Still don't. Can't hear you, Paul. I still I wouldn't either. I've I've been saying that for a while. Anyone who buys more than a starter package is an idiot. We're all idiots. Um, or at least, we're all yeah. idiots. Or at least above a hundred dollars anyway. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're secure I, enough. I mean it. Yeah, because you, I guess you could, could say that there's like a, there's plenty of um, plenty of like like ex, like games you can pay pay for like a hundred dollar like limited edition or Most whatever. Most games now do, have but... like a standard eighty dollar edition and then a limited collector's edition at ninety dollars and then another one at one hundred and fifty dollars and then if you're Ubisoft you throw in a shitty statue of uh, an Assassin's Creed guy okay. and you charge five hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah. but. All you need is the base game. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. what else was there to look at this week? Uh, there was some bug stuff, procedural forests. Oh, uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, I mean, honestly, you should just go watch ATV. It shows more. You, you get a bit more of an idea of, of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, we recommend that uh, for all transcripts as well. 
We do the transcripts every week. You should still go watch it rather than just read the transcripts. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to say, uh, Desmarius in chat did the entirety of the transcript this week. It was a 37 minute uh, show, which means that takes what, like two, three hours easy. Um, a lot of work. Thank you. And he's a champ. Thank you so much, Desmarius, for doing that. Uh, Des is the best. So, everyone in chat. Yeah. Round of say, say thank you. Say thank you to Des. Cause he say thank you, Des. Thanks, Des. We love thank you. you. Thank you, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so right now we're showing some like they've increased the channels so that they can they can create more complex environments. And one thing that we can see and, and we've seen for a while now is that there's a lot of work that seems to be going into the environments and the environments in, in Stanton and and further on when we start seeing them. But um, I'm going to start with Brian. Do you think we're, like, did you ever expect to get environments that are this detailed out of the game? Like, is this, when you heard that they were going to do procedural planets and when that first came in, did you expect this or... Well, coming from from someone who followed uh, Infinity, uh, what was it? Uh, Battle for Earth, from like back in the early two thousands, I was kind of expecting something similar to this, not to this degree, but once Chris Roberts started saying crisis level detail and on these planets, that's when I started to think, well, maybe they're going to make them as close to real life per se as as possible so <coughs> i'm not surprised but i applaud their effort for for trying because they look much better than than the than the other procedural generated stuff that i've seen what do you think paul both with the the land stuff and the procedural uh like stations and such that they're doing too i think it's I never, I never, I personally never thought that we would get this far, but now that we have, I feel like it's the next step. They need to do this to, to fill out the world more. But the biggest problem I have going forward after this is how much procedural generation is too much procedural generation. Like, are we going for no man's citizen suddenly? You know, what's like, how is this going to, to affect, um, I mean, hopefully we won't see Tyrannosauruses on butterfly wings and we can actually, we already know that you can like fly straight from Atmo down to land. It's not faked. Um, mm -hmm. And even in Alpha, we can see other players. So we're pretty good on that front. <laughs> but I mean, in terms of like, yeah. one of the biggest problems that No Man's Citizen, uh, no, Man's Citizen <laughs> no Man's Guy had uh, <laughs> is the same problem that Elite Dangerous had, which is when you procedurally generate your content, it creates a whole lot of empty space with nothing to yeah. fill it except for you. And especially that co coupled with weak um, like systems, like gameplay systems, can lead to a very boring and game. And that's actually what we and, talked and about I, last week, I think, with Commander Lamon, because he had his article about Sea of Thieves, which is another game that kind of had mm -hmm. that problem. Yeah, I think Sea of Thieves is actually has a, has a more has a better central core than even freaking uh uh than even freaking no man like like no man sky did because at yeah. least it's it's got different regions and it has a gameplay loop which is fun <laughs> you know yes it's only fun for a certain amount of time it's but... fun for an hour or two and then mm -hmm. yeah what do you think cs um well as soon as and like we said when they're using CryEngine, I almost expected it um, because you're working with CryEngine. It's very, you could do amazing stuff with it. Um, I think what surprises me is how much effort they want to actually put in to make it so that you, they're not just going, here's a basic generation of, or procedural generation of the planet. You know, you're gonna have a little bit of forest here, a little bit of, you know, desert here, whatever, done. Because, yes, it's really easy to do that. But, like Paul said, you know, how much 
is is too much you know you could either go where there's nothing or you could have it to where it could get really weird and funky and so the fact that they're really actually working to make sure that when you finally get on that planet it's not just going to be one of those look around for 10 minutes and you've seen everything you know you're actually going to have more to do than just what you initially land and see so so I'm excited to see what they're going to pull off. I mean, I I have every confidence in them doing so. Uh, I think the better question is, when will it get to that point where you can just go on a planet and not feel like you're seeing the exact same thing over and over right. and over? Uh, now, Paul, you were kind of talking about the emptiness or the the mm. possible emptiness, which is something that I've I've worried about with Star Citizen, excuse me, a lot as well. It it's going to be huge. They need to fill it. Do you think that service beacons help? Or will help? I think they do. Um, but I think that the two things that they really need to do is um, uh, sorry, a second. Um, I think the real th big thing they need to do is they need to um, also have like choke points. Places where people are forced to come together and um, uh, interact with one another. That makes kind of like um, a Korea was in two point six, or like Jump Towns kind of is right now. That's like, like hot that's spots. one of the things places where you're going to always does. encounter other people because you will always encounter mm -hmm. people in Sea of Thieves either at ports or at like skeleton forts. Right, that's where people go mm -hmm. so there are places that they funnel people into so yeah i i know what you're saying there so what do you think brian do uh do player made missions help at all i think that they will but i also think that they need to have the ai since it's going to be what um, nine to one for every AI, there's one person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that the AI should be able to access that system too. So you're not always just getting a real player. You're also getting AI too. Um, and I know that goes, falls into subsumption, but. Which, but I think. No, no, go ahead. Carry on. I was going to say, uh, I think that once they get subsumption better and they get missions better, we'll get more interactions and potentially more choke points because they're planning on having this mission pop up and then a good guy comes in and tries to do what he's doing, but then there's going to be a, another mission for the, for the other side of the wall to come in and counteract that. So I think those are going to be your choke points. Right. So choke points based on there's a ship that goes down and you're going to have a reclaimer that wants to go try and reclaim everything. And then you're going to have, uh, you know, treasure hunters that want to go and, and loot all the cargo. And you're going to have security that wants to show up and see if there are any survivors and so on and so forth. Right. So it brings, it'll bring a whole bunch right. of different characters to or types of players together and uh, inevitably, whoever shows up in a super hornet will come out on top. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, there's not much more to talk about for ATV this week, unfortunately. Uh, there's one very important thing oh, that you glossed that? over. Um, so, the, uh, the ship teams are uh, working on finalizing the, uh, the art of the uh, hot tub for the phoenix but who cares about the phoenix no one blasphemy That's sir what I phoenix is a terrible <laughs> ship and also the fish tank oh uh, that's important finalizing the uh, yes the fish, fish tank and important. the hot tub the fish tank is super important because i want my fish tank to be empty and it is my goal to go out there and fish fish to fill my fish tank fishing yes uh, literally unplayable that would be awesome, though, if you literally could go travel and find exotic fish to put in Chris your fish said tank. he wanted that at one point a long time ago. Going and it's going very, and, and very... capturing, you know, animals on various planets. 
Mm -hmm. Well, they did say pets for a stretch goal. I. That's the one thing out of all the stretch goals that I went really. It, there, I think really. that there's a reason. It's a money printing machine. Pets yes. are money printing machines. No, I okay. know, but it's like look at yeah. wow. That's exactly what oh. it is. Oh, I know. Everyone. And and so they ran out of ideas, and a bunch of the guys who work at at, uh, at Star Citizen work used to work at Blizzard, and someone said pets, and they went, "Why pets?" It's like because money, and they're like, "Oh, that, that yeah, makes let's sense. do it." That's the reason why pets isn't coming until after launch. Yeah. It's a way that they can monetize post launch, because everyone wants that cute, like, weird animal creature, or you know, a one of a dozen different endangered species that somehow are now pets. Which as no. long as screw all your fauna, I want I want a flag. As long robot. as you can That's get them in game as well, as long as you can yeah. find them and tame them, I'm okay with it. No, no, they're only no. available through the store in game. I like, I as bet, in, like, you have to pay money for them. I bet you that's in-game money. I bet you that's if the it's in-game money, fine. No, 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 no. no. Premium currency. No, Starbucks. no won't yeah. happen. If if that Starbucks. happens, I'll be very get, angry. Get 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 the exclusive pet when you when you purchase twenty five thousand UEC or more. No, I I think that they do need to do a <laughs> uh, a team up with Starbucks. <laughs> buy buy a, an extra large Starbucks drink. And get a code for a Star Citizen pet. I wasn't even thinking about the actual drink. I just, oh, look at that. There yeah. you go. That works too. Shit. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I was just like, Starbucks, huh? Because Star and then oh, Fox is funny. Oh, Starbucks. <laughs> oh, wait. That's a coffee chain. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Can't do it. Okay. Um, we're going to be getting to questions. Actually, we've got a, a ways to go before questions. But uh, uh, do ask us some questions. Let's actually see how many questions we have right now, if we have any. Um, where? What's well, I'm going to do? I, a, I'm thinking of about that. Um, well, didn't you want to do your rant? Well, that's that's going to come before the questions. I'm just I'm starting the the drive towards questions, and then we're going to do a little bit of a chat. Uh, okay, chat. we've got no questions yet. Um, if we don't, let me get some, popcorn. if we don't get any questions, I don't know enough of dancing queen to sing it. <laughs> I can give you the lyrics. Please. Jesus ask some questions. Uh, chat. No, if, if Please. we don't get enough this questions, only gonna incentivize if them. we don't get enough questions, it's going to be Bohemian Rhapsody today. So, um, oh. But first, one, oh. ask us some questions. Two, okay, let's talk a little bit about LTI. So I know, I'm sorry, Paul. It's, it's, it's something that we've talked about entirely too many times. All of us have. But the, the complaint has come up again of um, CIG are screwing over old backers and preferring new backers with this new ship only having LTI for Warbond, um, yada, 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 anger, anger, anger. Uh, CIG are the worst and they hate everyone. Uh, rinse, repeat. Um, eh, I think it's a little overblown, but you know it's not too off off the mark. Or I, I think the major issue that people have with LTI in with this whole situation is that um, essentially CIG kept saying LTI is not a, not a big deal. LTI is not a big deal. LTI is not a big deal. And so, uh, and finally, what they've done is they said, "Fuck it, let's just embrace LTI so we can make some money." Nothing wrong with making money. CIG needs to make money to be able to, to keep the doors open. They don't have a publisher who's paying them to do this, so it makes sense. However, um, I think what a lot of people are upset about was this was just done in the dark and pushed on us like an EA, uh, would, uh, you know, act or Ubisoft kind of kind of style. Like you're supposed to talk with us, not just do things and hope we don't figure out what you've done. Because there was no announcement that they were doing this. They didn't, never talked about it. They just did it with the 100i. And um, people were like, this, the six months was a mistake, right? On the credit. And they're like, no. That, that's not how you communicate with your 
community. Mm-hmm. You got to tell us these things before you do it. I'd be all for removing credit, uh, uh, be not being able to buy um, uh, concept ships with credit at all, and just make it all pure cash. If they have, if they need money, sure, why not? You know, and it makes sense. It's a new ship, the concept ship, and people are like, well, then my credit's not worthwhile. And it's like, no, it's not. It's been spent, dude. It's been six years. Like you, mm-hmm. you backed back in 2012. That money's gone. Like they need more money, and these are concept and, ships. You don't have and to. And they're buy not them. taking anything from you in the past. Your ship with LTI no. still has LTI. It's not taking anything but, from money but, you've already spent, right? Yeah, but the the issue that people are having have with that is that they still are able to purchase it with uh, with credit, and they think that. And no one really had any. Now these are some stupid people who had problems with the fact that the L, that you got. With a uh, war bond, you get the, the war bond, you got a discount. Yeah. But I think the issue is less that with a war bond, you get a discount, and more that they continually added to that perk, which makes them seem more and more desperate rather than something like it's cool. It's more like this is getting ridiculous. Like you're, you're going to charge 30% extra for me use, to use credit and the and desperately clinging like but you get a tank you know like that you know it's just it's you get a tank which is a hundred dollar uh taller dollar um you know discount uh compared to to you know blah 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 you know all that other kind of stuff and i'm sure it'll end with the lti sale like they'll they'll not do the tank thing ever again but it just it, it hits all the wrong buttons and it hits all the wrong buttons at the wrong way especially right after all of the shit that because most of us backed because we're tired of the bullshit we're seeing with like ea and activision with with treating games like money printing devices rather than games they're machines not games and star citizen which has been a machine for making money i mean it doesn't even matter because all of this conversation doesn't fucking matter look at what uh, as nakara has always been good at that put, put, uh, putting out he made a million dollars in four days fuck you like <laughs> literally <laughs> And you're complaining about it? Million dollars in four days. You you still fucking bought it. So why the fuck are you complaining? I, I liked on Reddit there was someone who was arguing that with me that uh it would have done better if they hadn't done the war bond only thing. If they had left it for everyone, it would have done better. But you can't possibly know that. It's literally impossible to know that, and we can see that this is all. It, this is one of the better concept sales we've had in a while. So, number wise, CIG are seeing that this works, mm-hmm. and guess what? If you vote with your money, that's what they're going to do. Uh, CS, what do you think about this whole LTI thing? I'm going to have some questions for you, Paul, later. I just want to check in with. Yeah, it's Sorry. all good. <laughs> LTI triggers the yes. shit out of me because of because of all the other issues. So, um, it's a mixed bag of cats. Um, I think the biggest, and I mean, I'm not going to speak for everyone because obviously I don't know, but I feel like for the majority of people, when it comes to LTI, the biggest issue is that when you invest your actual money, you don't want to lose it, and LTI basically means that you aren't going to lose your investment. Whereas with insurance, that's like six months or whatever, you could have spent five hundred dollars and for nothing. But the catch is, is that again, you only need to spend sixty dollars to get the game and get everything that you possibly could need to get going. So anything above that is just you pledging. So it's it's kind of a catch-22, you know. It's I understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, if you're going to sink $600 into a game, okay, that's 10 AAA titles, not excluding DLC and all that crap, you know, for a virtual ship, you need to understand what you're getting into. And don't just assume that because you spent six hundred dollars that you're entitled to basically whatever you know. It, it's just it's a vert. It's pixels you're paying for here, folks. You're paying for pixels, and I understand you don't want to lose it, but you're spending six hundred dollars on a video game, you know. And uh, with LTI, I wish it never existed. I wish it never existed, and I think they said that way early on too. Is they really wish they never did LTI because of how much controversy has caused. 
Um, as far as doing war bonds for LTI and credits not, with credits, your money's already spent. You're not, for people who are buying it with actual cash, I can understand giving them LTI because you're actually putting more money in. Credits, you're just trading from one thing to another. Okay, there's, there's, CIG gets nothing out of it. Whereas this is sort of an incentive for it's, people. It's why they've um, also stopped doing, you cannot buy merchandise with credit. Because mm -hmm. they don't get shit. And they have yeah, to actually you're, you're just, they have to actually pay for the merchandise to be made and shipped to you. And if they're got, getting money mm -hmm. for that, it's coming out of the development budget. Yeah, no, that's a, that's that was a very good choice. Yeah, because it's merchandise that still has yet to be produced and will be produced. So credit for that was just no, would just be stupid. Um, I, as I far as about the, about the merchandise, <laughs> also because. You know how easy it is to set up an Amazon uh, uh, Marketplace account? I have one. I did it in about two hours. Oh, for for I already and I already for where they sell their merchandise from. They could just go through. Amazon. I mean, yes, Amazon could basically handle everything. Not just not just the selling, but manufacturing. I, as well. I agree with that. And and that that way they don't have to worry about fucking dealing with with like chinese factories as well as building a goddamn game. I I'm with you on that. I have said that repeatedly and I hate that it's $35 shipping for me to get a bloody $30 book. That is bullshit. That's also mm -hmm. slightly Well, it's and it's what cuz when um, I bought my my first hoodie, my Drake hoodie, okay, I got it for $35 shipped. Yeah. What happened since then? Like, I understand there's rising costs and stuff like that, right? But what was the deal that you got back then to enable you to have that hoodie made, ship it to me for free, regardless of where I am in the world, barring a few very rural places? So, you know, yeah, definitely Amazon. That would be a great start because... And it's, really not like, it, it's not like CIG doesn't already have ties with yeah. Amazon or anything. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, they don't, no. So, Brian... So what do you think? Um, well, let me get a little a little sip of drink here because I'm gonna go on a, a mini rant. Oh, someone oh, else ran. Right. Holy shit! Here we go. So there's there's three aspects to to this whole scenario. One, and I think everybody will agree, is the lack of communication. CIG has a problem with communicating these changes to everybody because I, I guess they. Well, want us to infer that with a previous sale that's how it's going to go the second is this whole lti business it <laughs> we as a community has put it up on such a high pedestal that it's no wonder they're using utilizing it as a an incentive for new money so i don't care if you don't get AT, uh, LTI or not on on uh, store credit purchases because we're we're the reason why it's on war bond only because we put we, we put so much high stock into it that it it's really just a small little perk that's that's worthless in my most fair and humble opinion and it they also have to to make money for this game. That, that's that's the bottom line. And they also have to show their solvency for you know, if if funding does dry up, they have to show uh, we're make we're still making money or we still have money. So all this back and forth between you know all this is just just. BS, you know, that's rant done. So, uh, I'm it, it's my turn to rant just a little bit. Uh, first off, I want to say that in, in a lot of aspects, you're, you're actually right. One, they really do need to do something better with uh, the merchandise and like partner with Amazon or something, get it to us in, in a reasonable way. Two, gift cards, gift cards should be considered new cash. Yeah. Period. If if I give someone a gift card, 
they should be able to use that gift card for an L for a like a war bond ship. No question. Mm -hmm. That is new cash in my opinion because I didn't it, no one melted something to get it. You can't m use store credit to get a gift card and give it away. Gift card oh, is yes, new money. Cash. They have to change that. That is wrong. That said, if you think back to the bloody Kickstarter, you couldn't go into the Kickstarter and use store credit to get your damn ships. Your ships that you got were bloody new cash only. The only way you could pledge for the game was by handing over your money so that they could build the goddamn game. And then people went and bought every single damn ship because we're all bloody freaking insane. And then people were like, oh no, I don't want this ship. I want this ship. And it used to be you had to go to customer support and they would move your shit over as a favor to you. But so many people were doing it that the line at every time Time there was a new concept ship the lineup of customer service tickets took them weeks to go through because so many people said oh I, I don't want this ship anymore I want this ship and it all had to be done by hand so they said screw it we're going to develop a new system where you can just melt your ship get store credit and use it on what the hell you want they did it as a favor to us and now we're complaining again and this to me there are some things CIG really needs to tell us how the hell insurance works Okay, because we don't actually know the difference between six months insurance and LTI other than LTI doesn't end. How long is six months? Is that six months in game time? How long is a, a day in game? Is that six months insurance in real time? Is it time that I play the game? Is it every day I log in? That's one day off my six months. We don't know how that is counted. And not knowing how that is counted means we cannot reliably tell what six months insurance means and how big a deal it is that you don't get LTI. That's something they should spell out for us. That said, I fully understand why the hell CIG doesn't tell us of these changes before they do it. Because look what they do. Look what we do when they show us a forest. Look what we do when mm. we show they show us a work in progress scanning mechanic. Look what we do when they show us anything or tell us anything. So many people get so goddamn pissed off and yelling like it's it's their they own everything and everything has to be done the exact way that they and they alone want it. And that is bullshit. CIG are making this game for themselves. Yes, we are putting in money. We are putting in money so that they don't have to go through a publisher. And honestly, so that Chris doesn't have to get his goddamn game yanked from a publisher for the upteenth time because they want it out by a certain date. That's why we're putting money in. If you don't want to put in money for that, if you don't want to put in money for them to make the game that they decide is best, then stop putting in goddamn money. They are making the game. We can give our suggestions. We can interact. And hopefully, they will listen to us. But at the end of the day, it's their goddamn decision whether or not to listen to us. Because guess what? If I want advice on how to stream, I'm going to ask Paul. I'm not going to ask CS. No offense, CS. If I want <laughs> advice on how to make a goddamn video game, I'm going to ask Chris Roberts. Because guess what? How many incredibly successful video games has the goddamn man made? More than any of you, you goddamn ingrateful... I love all of you. No, but she... You, you you don't understand, Eris. They 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 work at a video game developing development company, or they worked at one five years ago, or they worked on an app development, uh, developed an app for the first iPhone, you know, ten years ago, or they uh, they they know Linux, or they once uh, typed a, a line of code in JSON, so they are um, experts, or they know C plus plus, so they're experts, and you're just a moron. <laughs> um, Board gamer, I love you. <laughs> I. I <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, and I know that it's. I, I know I, that I'm going to. I'm going to counter this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, so, I, I fully okay. expected that was a bit of a a rant. Sorry. Yeah. Feel free. <laughs> okay. So the problem I have with this whole thing is not that they want to make money. It's not that they want to make all the money. It's that they again aren't communicating 
hey, CIG, communicate these changes beforehand. I know the community is going to be angry. They're going to be angry about anything. You change the fucking standard color of a of a of a freelancer from silverish green to silverish blue, and people will lose their <laughs> fucking minds. It doesn't matter. Like at this point, you literally have nothing to lose. Just tell us everything, and people will, so as people get angry, they get it out of the way early, and so then they they put their penises back in their in their pants, and then they uh, uh they they go about their business. You know, they put their they put away their party tit, and they get back to business. Um, they let them lose their minds and then settle down and then they, they, they accept it uh, or they don't accept it. Either way, you have, <laughs> you, they, it, it will pass. This too shall um, pass. But you, but you need to talk to us about this kind of stuff because this kind of stuff is the kind of thing that you can alienate long-term fans. Um, the reason why I'm really concerned about this kind of move is because it feels like a, a test balloon. It feels like a step towards EA, towards Ubisoft, towards, um, you know, Activision. Like, little baby steps going towards, I mean, we're already, let's look at the reality. The game itself is funded by microtransactions. Microtransactions on large scale. The game is full of them, and it will never be rid of them ever, because they make too much, it's a money hose, really. They, how much money did they make in the last couple of days? A million? Two million? Keep in mind. Over the last four days? Year over year. It wasn't even available for year everybody. Year over year? Because it only opened up yes on Thursday. Yeah. Though everybody. how many people that aren't concierge are going to buy a $700 ship? Don't and we know. don't. That's the thing. We don't know. Um, yeah. I guess we'll find we will out. We'll find out. Yeah. Here's the thing. And, and this is something that Nakara talks about a bit in his article. And, and I always wish that Nakara here was here because he could offer better numbers than I can, but year over year, CIG have always made between 32 and $37 million. Uh, that's, that's actually really good, except, th and, and that was really good for a lot of years, except now they've got 400 employees, 500, 500 employees yeah. in four different studios. Like five, five studios. It, it's, they're getting big guys. <laughs> um, yeah. And, I I don't think that they're going to have an issue with money. If they did, they'd probably just stop hiring and and make do mm -hmm. with what they have. So clearly they've got some room. They're not idiots. They're they're uh Chris has always said that this entire time they've been putting money away and and making sure that they'll have mm -hmm. enough to finish the game no matter what. Even if funding stopped today, they could still finish the game. Um but they still it costs a lot to employ 500 people, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, I can see, I, I agree, Paul, a hundred percent. They do need to communicate better. Um, and Hey, you can go back and look at basically every single rant in every single episode of relay going back to the days when we weren't even bloody relay and we will always basically say the same damn thing CIG needs to communicate better it's what we've been saying <laughs> mm -hmm. forever um now my only issue with the LTI thing is that CIG has been saying for years that LTI is nothing but then as as you said like they've yeah. talked about insurance but not in a concrete sense Insurance confuses the fuck Everyone. out of people. It really does. It confuses uh, the fuck out of a lot of people. Just as an example, uh, Nakara and I were writing the LTI article this week. And mm -hmm. to be honest, I had always assumed, based on developer comments from years ago, which are still the only comments we have, that LTI mm -hmm. was a every hour of gameplay that you play is an hour off your LTI. It's It goes based on the hours you play, which means six months mm -hmm. insurance gives you something like 6,000 hours or whatever of game time. But do, looking into it more, we're actually not sure. We're not sure if it's real time or in game time. It's unclear. So we don't even know. Nobody knows. And that's a problem. Um, I, I, because they don't know. I don't, I don't think even CIG knows. They don't. I'm going to be honest they don't. with you. The way, the way that, the way that I, I, um, the, the amount of time I've spent talking to CIG developers, uh, at events or at like, cause I'm looking up now that I live in Austin. So I live pretty close. So I can go to like bar yeah. Um, 
and the way that my, my interactions with the community and the way that they've spoken and made TVs and such, they have a generic idea yeah. of how they build, the, the, how their game's going to be built, but they barely have an idea of what's going to be in the game past six months. Like the idea that in a year from now, what they have listed on 3.5 is going to be in 3.5 is a fucking joke. That none of that is going to be. I like that they listed it. Maybe I like that they listed it. I like that they're giving us an idea of here's what, you know, we're kind of thinking, but yeah, Mm -hmm. it's going to be updated 17 times before then. And, 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 and that's also an indication that CIG does barely looks three months ahead of itself. And as a result, if that mechanic is not going to be fundamental to the next three months, they don't give a flying fuck about it. They come back to it and look at it after three months. Is that wasteful? Maybe, but it's scrum. It's how they develop. It's, it's how lots of successful companies have been developing software in the long term. And they're also developing for a live environment. There's lots of reasons why they're doing this. Is it the best idea? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not, I'm not the one to judge. However, the, that reality means that something like insurance and LTI is actually a detriment to the project long term because insurance scares people. The idea that they could lose their ship that they paid 150 to a thousand dollars for, and uh, because they forgot to pay something, it scares the living fuck out of people. On top of that, people also assume that insurance you have to pay with actual cash, which yeah, which adds to the whole perspe- perception that that Star Citizen is just a giant game for multi billionaires that no one will ever play, because who the fuck would pay three hundred dollars for a digital spaceship? Um, and and that's the reality. Like every time it's been brought up to my non star citizen f- fan, f- friends who are sort of gamers, they always just assume it's a scam. They always assume it's like a mobile game type esque, yeah. like macro ma- micro transaction scam that no one would want to play. Um, and that's a problem long term. And as a result, I've been very honest and open and thinking saying that LTI and insurance as a whole should just go away. You should just, it was a mistake, scrap it, replace it with something else. And there are other things you can do. Now, the problem is you say that. And as I'm saying this, there are literally uh, right now 76 people <laughs> in chat who are about to lose <laughs> their fucking minds because, because they either A, paid an exorbitant amount of money for LTI, B, um, don't want to lose their ships. And they say, if you get, you're getting rid of my, L- you're getting rid of my LTI. <laughs> losing their fucking minds over that because i've seen this before uh I've, this is not the first time i've said this and seen that reaction um and uh, see there are probably some people in there who just are confused because they don't understand what i mean and what i mean is, is that the concept of what we have right now in insurance is not lti in fact most of what you guys um most of what we were talking about when we're talking about L- uh, insurance is not going to be in the game for a very long time beta alpha beyond alpha, beta like in in live release this, the concept is is after a certain number of months whatever that determination is you will have to pay a new premium your um not a premium like i don't know the, the actual terminology for this shit. it's uh you have to pay additional money to keep your policy and then you uh Every time you lose a ship, you have to pay, even if you have LTI, you still have to pay to expedite it or wait for it to come back to you. If you just got rid of the whole have to continue to pay to keep your policy uh, portion of it, which is what LTI stands for, the whole thing, but keep the whole pay to expedite, then you still have a money sink and you still have a situation that uh, will will serve its original purpose without having to f- scare the shit out of people. This is the same kind of system that e- Elite and Eve both have, um, but it's slightly lighter because you still get your ship back 100%. You just, if you want it faster, you get it. In lore, you can still say insurance companies, and then they give you like a bonus, like they give you a discount at certain like at Microtech because it's you're part of this insurance company or some shit like that. You know, do it like AAA does or like a lot of insurance companies in the US do, which are they just being a member of that company or being a, a customer of that company gets you some certain perks that whatever. And you can j- choose them on your own or increase them or decrease them on your own, but LTI doesn't matter. I want to I wanna quickly uh, <clears throat> talk to CS and Brian because Paul and I have been ranting for a bit. Sorry, Sorry. guys. Yeah. Uh, CS? First off, the popcorn was very yeah. good. 
Um, How was the rent? I, it was it, well. I ate, ate the whole thing continuously, <laughs> so it was it was a pretty good rant. I I literally just every just every second just kept pulling more popcorn. It was just that good. enjoyable. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. LTI. It's like Paul said, and I uh, said a bit earlier. Is people are afraid of losing their ship, and you know, um, the whole concept of you know you could uh, you know expedite your insurance even if you have lti i think it's a good idea it's kind of a good workaround i guess in a way that you you there still is a money sink to it um i feel if they were to do something it would be either all or nothing mm -hmm. um if you're gonna purchase something with cash fine you get lti you store credit no you don't get to get lti on that ship because you already have invested into the game uh, like, so it means you pick your package, this is your package, you want to switch from your package, fine. You, then you don't get LTI. But eventually they're going to make it so packages are packages and ships are ships. Um, nice. or they're going to just do, you know, and I know they won't do this, because there's no way. They just won't do it. They will not get rid of LTI. They've already got themselves way too far in for it to be removed now. If they did this, like, you know, second year into the project, you rip the band-aid off then, but yeah, you can't do undo the stitches. So, um, yeah, uh, they definitely have to get a little creative as far as uh, insurance goes. Um, again, I wish it never existed because of all this chaos that it's caused, <laughs> but um, I think they definitely can come up with a solution, you know, something like Paul suggested. There are ways to make it so that your insurance isn't necessarily the end all be all you know you 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 have lti but there's still costs involved with gaining your ship back and the other thing too a lot of people forget lti is just the hull this does not include yeah. any of the armaments the cargo doesn't whatever what include repairs because your, your ship's gonna what break if down every ships time? had insurance it and LTI or six months insurance was just prepaying the expedite cost. Yeah, that's a that's a problem because then people would just pay additional money to troll. It would be a way yeah, that, that they could. They, it would be a, it would money sink that to for trolls because now suddenly that troll who's been flying around Port Olisar who had to wait five minutes to get his Aurora. Now doesn't have to do anything. Just spams his Aurora, gets in, flies around, crashes, spams Aurora, and does it all the whole thing over again. Brian, I'm going to give you the last word, and then we're going to move to questions. We only have five, so I'm probably going to be singing. Oh, wow. Come on, people. Yeah, seriously. Questions. Let's go. Um, I definitely like Paul's idea in that they should... I mean, essentially what it boils down to is just give LTI to everybody. And yeah. And either, give, either nobody has LTI or everybody has LTI. Yep. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter. And I completely agree with that. And this is coming from someone who, who's who's back this whole game back in 2012, October 12th. So don't try to pull that, <laughs> that, that OG card on me. <laughs> but... I think I was the 13th? Yeah, like... I think huh? I was like a day or two later. Yeah. I, it, it, once I saw the announcement, if I had the money then, I would have backed them, but I had to, I had to get some money. But and that's besides the point. Um, and, and I'm perfectly fine with that. And if CIG does do that, they should do it sooner rather than later. That way you get this big old uproar and, uproar and then it dies down. It mellows out. Announce it. Announce um, it when they announce the release date for Squadron 42 and also something else major and it just it'll get lost in everything else this is where my cynical stuff comes <laughs> out and i say we sang all this nice stuff see i just not gonna do anything they're just gonna keep doing uh, oh what i they're know doing. they're making so much money off of this because people are still paying paying them they've got a money hose there and everyone's like well they need to be they need to have money because they're a company yeah but every time they're not your friend cig is not your friend i have friends who work at cig cig is not my friend in any way, Great shape, business. or form, I have, I have, I have made, I have made my partnership because of the community. It's uh, around Star Citizen. 
I've been active and part of, part of this community. I wouldn't be here without the community or without the game. But no matter what, no matter what anybody says, CIG is not my friend. They're not your friend. They're there to make money. Like every mm -hmm. single other company in existence. In existence. So if you treat them like you're, the, you're their bestest buddy, because a lot of people think that, like, like, oh, they wouldn't betray us. Yeah, they would. they throw you over a fucking cliff for, for money. They're, they're business. They want to stay afloat. And just they'll, they'll justify their that actions. Said, you know, as, 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 as that afterwards. said, they, I mean, interpersonal-wise, like, I think they're pretty good on support and pretty good on talking to us and pretty good on a lot of things. They do need to be a hell of a lot better. They're better than most companies. They could be a hell of a lot better. Um, but yeah, they, they're not, CIG is not your friend. No. People, people and at CIG they're... might be. CIG itself. Yeah. CIG itself and, and hey, hey America, CIG itself is a company. It's not a person. It can't be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers. Uh, okay. The, 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 the point is, is that at the end of, at, at the end of all of this discussion, um, no matter what happens, people need to drop this unhealthy attitude that CIG as a company is something, anything but a company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you treat them like a, a, like, like some sort of underdog trying to beat the bad guy or whatever, at the end of the day, they're not, they're just another company trying to survive. And yeah. Mm -hmm. They may have some fairly decent business practices. They also have some pretty shitty business practices. Their refund system is terrible and ends up getting worse because they, they want to drag their feet. Again, they don't want to lose their money. But still, f compared to either, even even EA has an easier refund pro uh, process than, than, um, than, than Star Citizen does. CIG's process is worse than the most hated gaming company in the world. I will say that as much as I hate Sea of Thieves, Origin is really as much as I hated really Sea of Thieves, it was really easy to get a refund. Yeah, like most large corporation games are much easier to get a refund from than CIG. Now, to be that may also be because they don't have enough resources there, but it also feels like oh, they're dragging so their they feet. subsidize the pro the, the the price when from their profits or from from other gaming sales so yeah I mean, so i want to a so, little bit apples i want to bring this but... to a little bit of a close and move on to questions because we did finally get a few no one wants me to sing uh, i do want to close this out though by saying um i think that one of the things that they could do to make this a hell of a lot better is is honestly go back to the old style of reverse the verse where it was just ben and a few people hanging around chatting uh that seemed a lot more personable and it also seemed like we could get a lot more uh, important questions answered by people. Uh, I, I miss the CIG that would just take people's questions in chat and answer them. They're not, that's not, that's not I know. Back. I know it's not. <laughs> it's I know. Not but I'm saying it. That's why. That's why they. That's why they're working with. Uh, with. I know. Um, I know but I'm saying it anyway. Uh, okay. Questions. Yeah. Mayonnaise fifteen. Uh, do you think we will in Star Citizen see giant space stations like in Eve Online? Yes. Yes. I think oh, we'll absolutely. see something this freaking scale of, uh, of the freaking uh, Nexus from, or not the Nexus, the uh, Citadel from Mass yeah. Effect. I almost, I almost well, believe it will see a, fly, a floating city at some Shubin. point. In, in, Shubin in is station. how many kilometers long? We already know that, mm -hmm. like, like Shubin is, is stupid big. Oh, I forgot. Spider. Spider is essentially yeah. a floating city. It's just made out of a bunch of junk. It's, it's like a, it's like a, like an elongated version of Grim Hex over a long, over an entire like asteroid belt rather than just like a one asteroid. Uh, Talon's Bane asks, what beverage are each of you enjoying today? Uh, I personally am currently drinking a Waterloo IPA. Ooh, Waterloo's good. I'm it. I am drinking Gatorade. Gatorade. Okay. <laughs> but hopefully I, I'm going to, uh, my sister recently went to Germany, so I'll be getting some real German beer, so nice. hopefully, if I'm on next week or the week after, or whatever, well, I'm next time I'm on, sure I'll, you will have, be. I'll have a, a German beer. <laughs> CS, uh, you were drinking popcorn earlier? 
drinking yep. popcorn. Uh, Paul has been drinking the tears of of LTI owners. Mm -hmm. mm, so delicious and tasty. That's pretty endless. And it's and it's and it's also uh, I'm also drinking um, shill juice. G fuels. I have yet to try it. Their shipping options to Canada aren't great. No. Hey, not. G Fuel. Uh, I will say. Smarten up. Hey, listen, G Fuel. If if you want me to not not shill for other other companies, I uh, you know you can always pay for my silence. Um, but there is also another another group out there called uh, Gamer Steps, which a lot of people use, which is similar. So you might look at them. They've apparently they almost taste exactly the same as G Fuel, but they are less powdery. Kind of there's a little bit of a powdery aftertaste because you never can kind of quite get all they the also probably don't give dissolved. a shit about canada because no one gives a shit about canada hey I, anyone in canada I, i'll rep your I shit because i canada i think geez i think i think gamer subs is actually a canadian company really? i'll, I'll yeah. look it up i'll look it up yeah so um because they don't they don't show up a lot to the us but i hear them talked about all the time by a lot of canadian like streamers so I will I will check them out. Uh I did see <laughs> I did see one uh product advertisement this week by Bad News Baron that I want to fully endorse even though I am not sponsored, which is uh the uh what is it Squatty Potty or something like that? You you want it? You want to I can I can probably I'm going to I'm going to message church and see if I can't get one as well. What a sponsorship from them? <laughs> oh, you got you don't realize who uh, that church, the guy who does all those um, high high quality gifts on um, on the Star Citizen yeah. subreddit. He's the marketing guy for for really? Squatty Potty. I uh, yeah. I have for years touted the importance of Squatty Potties. Uh, uh, seriously, mm -hmm. if you don't use a, a a stool to poop, you really should. It will literally change your life. Uh, literally, your innards it's... do not line up properly if you just sit on the toilet. You have to raise your knees. It's 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 physics. It's physiology. It is it is how humans are built. You should be squatting to poop. And since our toilets aren't reason, built for that, and the reason uh, get a squatty potty. Hashtag not reason, sponsored. Yeah, and the, and the reason why is because as humans we were designed to poop on the move. It's the same reason why it's really difficult to give birth in one of those like torture devices yeah. that we use nowadays in, in, in hospitals. It's better to squat to poop and squat to give birth because literally humans were designed to go squat poop, poop run get up run squat and baby squat, pick up baby, baby run get up run yeah <laughs> that's what we're, we're designed to do we're we're savanna and 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 tree you know species so <laughs> that that's what we've been evolved to do so squatting is survival get a squatty potty so you can poop hashtag out. totally Trust not me. sponsored we're not, not sponsored. sponsored but we, we I, I would i would take it I've got one. I've got <laughs> one washroom that does not yet have a squatted potty. So uh, I've got them in two yeah. of the other ones. But seriously, uh, do look it up and do 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 it. Uh, moving on to the further further quest. I feel like Canadian syrup is uh, really regretting his decision to come on today. <laughs> <laughs> you okay over there, Canadian syrup? Not have a squatty potty. I don't have a. You should get potty one. Potty. It will literally we change your get life. One. You have no idea. <laughs> I could just get a stool. Uh, and any be stool happy. will Heck, work. I even yeah. have one. But any yeah. stool will work. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I think, I think the key about squatty potties is that there's a design to be like adjustable, and they're supposed to be specifically for it. But literally, they also have it's like a cheap. They also have stool. a nice little circle in it, so it it goes close to your toilet, so it's kind of out of the way, and then you can put it out, pull it out, and sit it, and then mm -hmm. push it away. But uh, Commander Hellfire raises a very good point, actually. In most of the world, that's not North America, and I think the UK. Uh, you do use some form of squatting to go to the washroom. Toilets are not the standard worldwide, and they were done for, I don't even know why, but uh, they are not the best way to poop, people. Because uh, it's difficult to build a giant porcelain device that's designed for you to squat on and still remove your, your, your waste it's in, true. A, uh, in water. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Talonsbane asks, back to Star Citizen. <laughs> Listen, Squatty Potty at this point is practically Star Citizen because he did when Church did visit the yes, LA he brought office, like four hundred for hundred disco, yeah, four hundred Squatty Potties for all of the. the, the yeah, Wait, I, I, I have to ask: Does Captain Richard have one of these now? He does. I'm sure. He does. I'm sure he's going to be sponsored after Baron he, because the the level of of feces that is in his <laughs> uh, in his uh, stream is uh, very commiserate with the amount of feces. He's a nice that, little. That, 
cleansing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what a good so word. So Talonsbane asks, what do each of you think about the Mustang rework being delayed until 3.3? Uh, it's always better for your ship mm. rework to be delayed because the freelancer got reworked first and it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew That's you were going to say he's that. Not, I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> I, I, no. I think the freelancer is, is great, but I think, but he's not wrong in terms of like the later something comes out, the better it's going to be because they learn a lot of new things that they didn't know before. They know how to do a lot better things and make things look better and they're more willing to take experiment, or like do experiments and make for, cool for stuff, everyone like. that's like, oh, the Banu merchantman isn't anywhere. Where what's happening? Be happy, guys. The longer yeah, it takes I, them I, to I do it, the better it's gonna be. I feel like the Carrick and the merchantman and the Orion will come out about the same time just gonna... towards the end of development, wow. and people should be like, why do I have a golden toilet? In yeah. Why is there why why is there individual shower? I can see the individual water coming in, like out of the spouts in the shower. I can see the droplets. You know? I yeah, mean, the droplets. I, I, about, I have to, I have to, I have to like manually turn the yeah. um, the the knob. Not, but if I don't turn it quite enough, it's gonna drip, and then it's gonna flood the whole ship. You know, some or some or it gets bullshit. too hot and too cold, and you're trying to find that middle middle. Yeah, like, the, the, the shower mini game that's, that's gonna come. Yeah, come with exactly. The, uh, with, exactly. The, with the uh, the character. I uh, I will be right back, <laughs> but I am going to ask this question and ask you each to go around and answer it because Haramus asks, "How far will mining go in its first iteration, and what will come later?" And I'll be right back. Sir. Um. Now I'm a little bit behind on the mining stuff. Are they hoping? Are they still planning just? The handheld version first, or are they actually going to do a it's ship? ship on planets? It's basically oh, okay. prospector. Yeah, mm -hmm. prospector. Um, prospector on planets. I can't see it being very complex. I see it very basic. Like you know, you'll have your scanner, you'll scan for resources, and then you're gonna go sit down, and then you're gonna mine, and that's about it. You know, there's no refining or anything like that. It's gonna be very very basic, I think. I don't think it's going to be very complex, and that's what I'll actually add on to it afterwards, because when it comes to CIG, they never like to put in a really big chunk of content, like, specifically because they all of a sudden could deploy the mining and go, oh shit, this doesn't work. We need to make some really big changes, so I'm pretty sure they'll go, they'll go slow, and then once they actually go, okay, this works, boom, then they'll add on to it, so... Yeah. The trend is has always been that whatever mechanic has come in, it's it's the foundation. And then yeah. they 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 take their their hammers and they start they start shaping it into into something that's good or that that's stable because right now the focus is stability mm -hmm. on, on the on the live servers. Yeah. Uh yeah, and I I I think what we're probably going to see is the first implementation of mining is going to be is going to be um, joined with this uh, upgrade of the economic system, so overhaul the economic system they're doing. They're going to be overhauling it every every patch, but um, the idea being they're going to link the mining the ore with the actual ore prices at places like um, Art Core Mining and uh, you know uh, you know Shubin Mining, all those all these like mining centers. So that if you have those my the, the 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 ore, you can go sell it. But it's going to because other people are trading the ore, it's going to be determined where you where you where you sell it will be determined by the value of what other people are trading with it. So you're competing with the NPCs as well, and that will also determine in the future the value of a ship or weapon or component because all of them have have to be made of certain ores, certain metals, certain you know. Uh, Things that you mine and manufacture, and so those base prices will go into the final cost of every component and where you purchase it. Because if it costs, you know, the the game will do a quick calculation as like this is cost this, this cost this, this cost this, and this is the manufacturing cost. So the final price is going to be this for this shield generator. And uh, and because if, if you don't build it on site, you have to ship it to that place. Then you also have to have it in shipping prices. So then the shield generator is actually this price. Um, that means that both commodities and um, raw materials will have varying prices depending on supply and demand in the area. Simple supply and demand. We're not talking about mm -hmm. something super complicated. 
um, it's already complicated enough. But I, yeah. but that's that's the where we're going in the future. Is like we're going to be very basic, but it's going to be tied into that that overall calculation of how things are built and how much money it's going to cost to make them. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that'll bring a lot of gameplay in itself. Just the fact that you will have something that is dependent on player interaction to actually make a difference to some extent. Obviously, AI will always be able to override you, but if players can actually make a dent in it, it'll be interesting to see how that actually changes people's way of how they go about the universe. I think uh, Commander Lama in his article the other week uh, said it's a player-influenced economy rather than a player-driven economy, and I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, that's a good way of putting it, because it's not like EVE where EVE is strictly... Players. It is player-driven. Without like players, there's no... The economy. auction houses in WoW are players only. Like, most economies are player only. I'm interested mm -hmm. to see what's going to happen in Star Citizen when it's a player-influenced economy. Mm -hmm. Players will be able to, you know, band together and, and shortchange the market and, and, you know, influence it in some ways, but it's still going to react. Anyway, we'll see. Mm-hmm. And as someone who played WoW for a long time, um, I'm kind of done with player-driven economies because there's always that one asshole that manages to corner a section of the market, and you just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the next uh, question asks, uh, P. Nis uh, asks, what color of panties is everyone wearing? Who says we're wearing panties? Yeah, I, I go commando when I'm on stream. Guys, do you actually think I wear anything wear... other than a shirt and a vest? Yeah, I'm not wearing pants right now. Why do you think I'm mean, so yeah. close? I mean, I could wear yeah. my formal my my formal tuxedo banana hammock. Ooh, if, that would uh, be nice. Once a while. Mm. But, I like you know, it. You gotta be classy sometimes. sometimes. You, gotta, you gotta keep it classy yeah. down there. Uh, yeah. Talon... And offer good support. <laughs> Talon Spain asks, <laughs> to everyone... Uh, what is the next thing that you are excited for that is currently listed in the upcoming roadmap? Like the next, the next part of the roadmap thing that you're excited for. Um, FPS AI. Because, because I'm really looking forward to landing on a planet to go retrieve goods. And there being something to, to fire that, on you. Yeah. Yeah. Or being shot yeah. at. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. Well, time to strafe some motherfuckers, then go in and kill everybody, you know? <laughs> go into this building and that, kill everybody. That, to me, yeah. <laughs> you, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was thinking things further down the line or, like, mining and stuff. But you're right. That that right there is a huge addition to gameplay. Because it, it'll even factor mm -hmm. into, like, scaven exploration, exploration, scavenging wrecks. Sca scaven so you show up at a yeah. wreck and, oh, there are people on that wreck, AI, that will shoot at you, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I can even see a mission where, like, you go to find a go find a body, and you actually don't have a body, but a and an, a friendly AI who you're supposed to rescue, and you go up to him, and you're like, "Shit, it's an it's an enemy AI," and you shoot him, you fail the mission, you'd be like, "Fuck, why?" Yeah, though, you know, <laughs> and then realizing, "Oh, I shot my I shot the hostage, I shot the dude I was trying to rescue." What do you think, CS? So, like, um. I see you looking. I, I I assume you're looking at the roadmap and and doing research. I I am, and the thing that kind of gets me is like the whole reason why I'm in Star Citizen as far as my career path is search and rescue. Okay, there's nothing. Um, so for me, it's just a matter of you know mining. Cool, awesome, but I don't have a prospector. Um, cargo running, I have my caterpillar. Fantastic. Um, but I'm waiting for a bit more depth in terms of that, which is what's coming when mining gets implemented because it'll actually have more of an impact. So I would probably say mining because of what it's bringing to the table in terms of the economy. Um, but I mean, search and rescue, whole medical gameplay, that's what I'm all about, but it's not on the roadmap. So. I'm also really hopeful for mining that you'll set up, because it's planetary mining, right? Not asteroid mm -hmm. mining. I really hope that you'll set up there to mine and not often, but occasionally you might get attacked by some of that, uh, you know, combat AI, FPS AI. Like you'll get attacked by a Tuscan a Tuscan band. Raiders. You want Mad Max? You want Mad Max? Like roving bands of of cyclone driven and uh, and uh, uh, dragonfly yes. like 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 
pirates on yes, yellow. Yes, exactly like, that. The dude with a guitar with like like flames shooting out the out out it as, yes. they, as they're chasing you. You know. But they have been playing Stairway to Heaven. Yes. <laughs> A bunch of crazy half naked dudes jumping onto your ship going, Witness me! You know? I mean, <laughs> puffing. <laughs> puffing chrome spray, spray paint. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I agree. Um, so, Commander Hellfire asks, uh, How many of you will I get to meet at CitizenCon this year? Oh, not Sorry, me. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I will be going. Um, I, I actually kind of really wonder um, how you're gonna find any of us. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's, it's bow tie. Too... Bow tie. Yeah, you'll find me okay. as the idiot wearing a relay bow tie because I'm probably gonna give up and buy myself a relay bow tie. It's a dead giveaway. You can't yeah. miss him. He's wearing a freaking bow tie. No one wears a bow tie. <laughs> With this no, many people, people ties, there actually. will be other people wearing bow ties. And I... Uh, but that's because they're copying Well, I'm going to have to go kill them. I'm going to have to kill them and they're harvest their bow ties. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna hire someone to do it so it doesn't come back to you. It's Man, like the Highlander. This is the weird part. I'm looking at this right now. And right now... It's weird to see that there is over a thousand tickets still yeah. available for Citizen Con. That's also very early. I too, think right? I honestly I no. think they've gone too too big. No, it's not that they've gone too big. It's that they went at a shitty yeah. time zone, a time period. People said they were gonna they were gonna go, and then they saw it on Wednesday, and they're like, "Nope, not going yeah. now." I, yeah. Um, Cause, so uh, cause I bet you need... that's the thousand. That's a thousand plus people right there who would have gone yeah. if they if it was on a Friday, you know. Yeah. But because it's the middle of the week. Because when it was in LA, it sold Some... out in oh, how long? To be fair, there was only 300, 400 tickets, and they That's sold true. more tickets. They had a total of like 2,700 tickets they were selling. So they've already sold more tickets than they've ever sold yeah. for, a, for an event. But I I honestly hope that they don't event. sell out. I'm completely okay if like the top balcony there is empty because I I'd rather it be a little smaller and more personal. Quite frankly, like I want to be able to, you know, hang out with people and meet everyone and, and yeah. meet all every I, I, every single year people come up to me and have been like, Oh, you you run relay, thank you so much and, and like and, and interacting with people and I'd rather be able to do that. And I don't know how possible that's gonna be with, you know, twenty four hundred people. All of whom yeah. like relay, clearly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> god damn and that's the other thing is that you also got to remember that of the i guess 1600 something tickets they sold or 1800 tickets they sold um probably 30 percent of those people won't even show up like at all because of other issues or other yeah. things um and i think as sir Ful Ful Becca in chat just said oh shit there's that many tickets left they usually sold out in minutes it's like yeah that's a lot of people don't realize that there's still tickets available. They need to do a better job of advertising that, you know, CIG. Hey. Wow. Do you think it's going to be a, a, a full day thing? Because, I mean, oh, from, yeah. from what Chris Roberts was saying on ATV at the end, that they're, they're expanding. So I, I think mm -hmm. it's going to be a – I'm not, I'm not going to say a better – um, convention. I think last year was so good with the panels and the, like, like there was shit to do the entire year. It wasn't just go in, mm -hmm. presentation, mingle, end. Um, yeah. yeah. 2016. Uh, you mean the worst, the worst um, Citizen Con of uh, ever? I'm, I'm, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter that we showed up and even in 2015 they got like buggy skins hey, and, i didn't uh, get shit because i spent all of 2015 interviewing people and didn't even get i got in and all the food was gone in 2015 all the food was gone yeah, food at, at 2015? yeah they had like a a, a spread of like cheese and crackers and little shrimpy things and like like appetizers and crap and i showed up and it was all gone all of it there's probably that one asshole that literally just grabbed a plate <laughs> and just filled it up till it was like this tall. 
and just because that's what that's what everyone does, right? They just go, "Hey, free food? That means they can take as much as they want, right?" Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to get to some questions really quick because we're actually almost done. Uh, LTI, longtime interactor, asks the hammerhead stomps on the Hercules A2. Not a question, but those no relay station statements form. Um, the hammerhead is designed as an orbital They're and different. space gunship and the a2 is designed to transport shit fire on the ground and then transport and the tank it, and then drop off the, the, the and stay on station. The, Do aerial the, the hercules yeah. is like a b-52 bomber that can also transport or c-117 globe master sure that yeah it, it's or c-17 sorry it's they're different yeah and the hammerhead is less of a gunship in the sense of like a like a like a helicopter or a plane gunship and more of like a Turn of the century s naval gunship, uh, just a ship that they just said, "Let's put as many goddamn guns as we can." Doesn't matter where they go; they just put them anywhere we can yeah. find them, and then they just hit yeah. everything. Nothing, not necessarily the hugest guns, but like, let's put seventeen twelve-inch guns, or not twelve-inch guns, like a, you know, it's a strato fortress. Yeah, it's just, just not, 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 not anything coherent. Just as much as we can fit on this frame. Uh, whereas the the other one is designed, let's going to be a cargo vessel. We're going to carry this these these troops in the battle. And we're going to drop. Then we're going to stay on station and fight, and then drop off. Uh, yeah. So Cutlass, better than freelancer, asks a question, but I don't care because he's wrong. Um... <laughs> Cutlass is not better than freelancer. The freelancer is better in long term. That's no, it. Cutlass is better. No. It's yes. Not. It's a why better combat. You, why ship. not both? No, you stop. Because <laughs> there cannot be both. There can only be one. Well, the, okay, the, I like the cut. I like the cutlass a lot, but the freelancer is um, can hold more cargo. So if you like cargo, you got that going for you. If you like nice. ugly ships, um, uh, you got that going and, for you. If you like ships that <laughs> didn't get a really good uh, overhaul when they should have, uh, you got that going. For you. <laughs> sorry, Paul. I'm sorry, I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm a Drake I'm fan. Bitter. Like. Oh, the Cutlass and the and all of the, the Drake ships are ugly as fuck. They're uh, they're not designed to be aesthetically beautiful. They're designed to work. And Freelancer is whatever. Um, it's a it's a the flying answer piece. is is that it yes it's a flying pe a cock yeah, and balls. It's the flying lancer. cock and balls, uh, which is actually what uh, I found at Silas Kerner calls it. Nice. The the founder of um, of um, Consolidated Outlands, he calls it a flying. Cock That's. And balls. Uh... <laughs> That is appropriate. Uh, he has a lot of really foul things he says about all of the other ship manufacturer ships. Like the Aurora is a, is a flying trash can or is a goddamn crap trash can. Uh, <laughs> and the Avenger is um, like uh, a fat midget or something like that. It, it, like it's a he, penguin. No, no, no. He says some terrible things. It's about funny because the, the Mustang, and the Mustang the is straight up one of the uh, the aliens from Starship Troopers. <laughs> the, the, the bugs, yeah. yeah. It really is. The, the the Mustang really is one is. of the bugs from Starship Troopers. Okay, I want to get through these. We've got four left. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. When will Sorry. the Cutlass get mounts on the side doors for mounting anything from weapons, tractor beams, mining lasers, etc.? Hopefully, never. Uh, the Cutlass needs to die in a fire. Um, <laughs> Pappy, Pappy asks, Caterpillar or Hercules C2? Choose and why? I'm sure CS will say Caterpillar. Uh, I'd say Hercules because it looks better. I'd say Caterpillar, only because Caterpillar. It's, uh, yep. it's smaller. Okay, like, it, holds, it, 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 it holds a little uh, less than a, than a Hercules, but it's also not the, the size of a fucking... It, it's not this giant, ugly... Not ugly, but just massive, like... Frame. The Hercules. You like, better not say ugly, because the Hercules is gorgeous. That is a pretty ship. But it's I huge. Don't care. Like, the thing is, like, it's a, it's like a flying fortress office building. It's it's a it's the flying freaking um, you know Empire State Building. Whereas, like, yeah, the Caterpillar is big, but it's like a flying four story. It's a flying thing. cross sword or yeah, whatever. Plus, a sword, plus a sword it's with a cross card. In the sense that you can change out the modules. Uh, Commander Hellfire yes. has the and last two questions. Question one: Name two modules you want to see added to the Caterpillar. Uh, a barrage module and a bar module. I don't know why the bar module. 
I will say search and rescue module and a pocket carrier module. Ah, oh, you took mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone want I don't want a pocket and call carrier. It, and call it the pocket carrier module. Yes. Don't even exactly. don't even because it's a Drake shit. Just call it a pocket yeah. carrier module. <laughs> My, the other mo module would be um, uh, scavenging. Uh, I think it needs a news module. Uh, at the, It's actually a series of modules. At the back, there's a whole bunch of transmission stuff. And all of the subsequent um, bays are all bays with uh, heralds in them. So they open up and a herald will pop out of either side and go off and distribute the illicitly gained... Uh, information that this caterpillar that is set up for information espionage has stolen as it's circling uh you know some site and it keeps launching uh heralds out i don't come on that's a good idea i don't i don't think it would fit i do i i actually i do like i do like the idea of taking essentially the interior of a herald and making it into a module for for the caterpillar giving like a cnc module or like a like a like an info module like a hardened like That'd be cool. Uh, last question. Yeah. Uh, Commander Hellfire also asks, when will CIG have the first water vehicle concept sale? 2022. Next year. Yes. 2073. Uh, they, they recently announced that they're working on swimming animations. So, next year. Technically, we've already seen uh, water ships since the very beginning we've had we have had concept right. art with ships landed yes but like no 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 I, I i'm talking about you could just fly the ship in the water and there you <laughs> go now you have a ship that's in the water <laughs> mm -hmm. like it, it's been there since the start because it may not be work because it was thinking that the ships were water yeah. in water not in, in space not, not in uh, space yeah, yeah exactly so technically it's always yeah. been there. but uh i'm sure we will get a a like water skiff thing very soon actually uh the 890 jumps uh go along ship in lots of the concept art for the 890 jump they show that ship like either on beaches or near wa on water like unloading they can land into water yeah landing. so yeah. there you go um that is going to be it for the show this week uh paul where uh can people find you in like two hours <laughs> well uh i run a little place called hold on let me, let me do this because i can the Astropod, your space bar theme of Twitch. You know what else you can do um, now, Paul? Shoot. Uh, what's the, uh, I hit the wrong thing. Look look in chat. Look at what you there can you do on Relay now. Oh, shit. Yes. Podsat. Uh, Podsat. I, yes, it is the Podsat yeah. Saturday. This is the first, first, first show of the Podsat Saturday for Star Citizen. Then we've got Captain's Table, which is... Today at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. GMT, we have a ridiculous cast lined up. We've got The Few, we've got Moist Noodle, we've got ATC Guardian, and Crucian Game. Nice. So, That'll uh, be a good one. And, uh, and we do Star Citizen Wednesdays and Fridays, um, and uh, 9 p.m. my time, which is 7 p.m. Pacific, 11, uh, 10 p.m. Um, Eastern, and it's like 3 a.m. GMT. Uh, Wednesday... Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And we take Mondays and Tuesdays off. Though you can find me on Tuesdays at another channel where we play some D&D or some, uh, it's called Blades in the Dark. It's really cool, like, steampunk, like, pen and paper RPG style. Nice. We were supposed to do that, but then Jake disappeared. <laughs> Rip. Damn it, Jake. Uh, CS? I, um... I know that you can be found over uh, on Relay.sc, running the, the transcript portion. Uh, well, I've kind of been a bit away for a little bit, but yes, you can find our transcripts at Relay.sc. Um, Sunjammer and Desmarius have been awesome in um, really taking the bulk of things. Um, and uh, you know, here you can find what has been keeping me incredibly busy all week. Oh, the babies. Look, look, baby. Who, who's that cutie you got there? He's like, what is going on? <laughs> hey, pretty. Aww. <laughs> so, should we just start calling you well, Papa Eris? It, it is, is not mine. Uh, I don't have one yet. 
Are you I'm sure? I'm positive. <laughs> 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 I'm just helping. See, Eris, you think you think you think it's not yours, but it's yours. No, it's mine to eat. <laughs> what is this crazy thing to know? It's a puke over right now. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, Brandon. Bye. Um, oh boy. How swift of you eating bacon. They're tasty. Uh, yes. Sorry, CS, I, I believe I interrupted you. I apologize. <laughs> no, I was saying Desmarius and Sandra were doing a good job at kind of keeping up a whip with, you know, they've been keeping it afloat. And uh, obviously yourself has been helping and, and Nakara when you can as well. And, uh, yeah, so we're we're pretty much only doing ATV lately because honestly, there's just too much for the amount of people we have. So, and honestly, a lot of the other stuff you kind of need to watch it anyway. So, <laughs> there's not really too much to transcribe except ATV. But uh, uh, Shiver okay. Shiver has actually lately started uh, posting his at least his summary of uh, calling all devs, which it goes up on Relay as well now. So. Uh, if you if you oh. do now need just a, a quick summary of what was talked about in Calling All Devs, it's not a transcript, it's just a TLDR. Uh, that's been going up lately as well, so thanks to Shiver for that. Uh, Brian? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Bragay168. Um, I'm also, I also have a, uh, the YouTube channel, Brevals84, where I just record video games and play them and Whenever there's a new PTU out, I, I record the gameplay and post them and all that good stuff. And Revolves 84 on, uh, on Twitch here. Uh, I also understand, uh, due to Shiver's uh, prodding, uh, that there's going to be a full Friday night show uh, this Friday. Uh at midnight BST, whatever the hell that is, uh, that's going to be over on thebase.sc. You should go uh, check that out. Uh, they're completely ridiculous. Uh, Paul, I believe you were on that last week. Yeah, I found out that there are actually um, shows worse than this one yeah. and uh, uh, my own. So uh, if, you're, if you're into the lowest of the low brow, um, and uh, to see Eris, um, well, not see, hear Eris uh, deep throat his microphone. Um, you guys don't get to see that. You should definitely. <laughs> that <no>. was great. <laughs> <laughs> we do have, we do have, uh, we do have photoshopped evidence of this, and there is a green screen version that will probably make its rounds. Or time. you guys could just um, uh, pay us money, and I'll I'll show it live on stream. Um, <laughs> what you should what you should do is have you guys have a Patreon, we do. right? We do have a Patreon. Um, you should. You, you should you should have um, uh, pictures. You should post those pictures on Patreon for your super secret, sexy adult uh, well, pictures that you're not supposed what, to do What I could anymore. do is uh, and <laughs> anyone who, who donates uh, $10 on a month on Patreon gets access to a, a specific, 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 God, I can't speak, um, part of our specific. Uh, Discord, uh, which is patrons only. And uh, I could post some of that over there uh, if if anyone mm -hmm. wants to see me um, risque, risque, risque shots, shots of, of different of different relay station yeah. members. I'm okay with this. I'm still down for this idea that I I started. I said talk about a little. Why long haven't time ago we done it doing, yet? I want to uh, of doing this the the men of Star Citizen or the the citizens of the of of the stars where we just dress in sexy clothing. I and, wear uh, nothing but a bow tie. Uh, Yes, and um, we've got to keep it, you know, R. Keep it R, yeah, okay. Yeah, keep it R. Maybe, maybe I don't know, Peggy 16, you know? Um, no, no pegging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But um, to, to do for charity, you know, as to sell, to sell sexy, sexy, sexy uh, bearded men. Who some of us are in shape, and some of us are not in shape. Wait, um, which? For, okay, hang on. For sure. Which of us is in shape? DJ. Okay, Knight. yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I still think we need to Touché, do this, Paul. Sure. It needs to happen. Yes, I, I, I'll, I'll figure Good. it out. I'll make it, it out. happen. I'm just gonna confirmed here gonna on the relay happen. station. 
the sexy men sexy of men star, star citizen, citizen calendar 2019 coming soon to a store near you a hundred percent of proceeds mm -hmm. will be for charity mm -hmm. uh, uh, well i you know because i like irony um we'll, we'll do it to uh, i don't know children's fund or something like that we'll find something uh yeah we'll give it we'll give it to uh to stack up so we can give it to, to soldiers so we can send free sexy men's calendars yes. to soldiers overseas and show sure appreciate. oh yeah that. they'd love it what the fuck are these guys <laughs> oh okay um oh god <laughs> this, is, this is about time that we this end, is about it? time that we end uh we've actually gone a little bit over thank you all so much for hanging out and listening uh in less than two hours head over to twitch.tv slash the astropub to check out paul and the astropub uh if you like what we do i don't know come back next week i guess or follow or subscribe or whatever the hell you're supposed to do i don't know uh but seriously, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for listening. We really appreciate it. We love doing this every week. Uh, Canadian Syrup, great to see you again. Brian, thanks for being on. Paul, go have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all in the verse. <laughs>